Hello everyone. In the session we are going to discuss about formation of urine. Urine is formed through complex processes like ultrafiltration, reabsorption and secretion and absorption of water. These processes takes place in various parts of nephron. Let us discuss in detail about these processes. The first step in urine formation is known as ultrafiltration. Filtration of blood is carried out by glomerulus. So, it is also called glomerular filtration. When the blood flows through the glomerulus, ultrafiltration takes place through the capillary pores. Blood is filtered so finely through these membranes that almost all the constituents of plasma except the proteins are filtered through the capillary pore. A high pressure is developed in the glomerulus due to difference in the diameters of efferent vessel and efferent vessel. This high pressure in capillaries help in ultrafiltration. The glomerular filtrate is formed as a result of ultrafiltration is collected in the capsular space. I repeat once again, the first step in urine formation is known as ultrafiltration. It takes place in the glomerulus. The high pressure in the capillaries help in ultrafiltration. The blood is filtered so finely that all the constituents of plasma except the proteins are filtered. The substance what is obtained during filtration is known as glomerular filtrate. It is collected in the capsular space. Now let us see what are the components of glomerular filtrate. Water, glucose, amino acids, sodium, potassium, calcium ions, vitamins, urea, uric acid, creatinine etc. are the components of glomerular filtrate. Second step in urine formation is reabsorption and secretion. When the glomerular filtrate flows through the renal tubules, essential components are reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries. Glucose and amino acids are absorbed completely. Sodium, potassium, calcium ions and water are absorbed partially. The excess components that are retained in the blood even after ultrafiltration are secreted to the renal tubules from the peritubular capillaries that is during urine formation the cells in the renal tubule secrete hydrogen and potassium ions and urea into the filtrate this helps in maintaining ionic and acid base balance or the pH value of body fluids. I will repeat once again. When the glomerular filtrate 
flows through the renal tubules essential components are reabsorbed into the peritubular capillaries that is glucose and amino acid are absorbed completely sodium potassium and calcium ions and some amount of water are absorbed partially the excess components that are retained in the blood even after ultra filtration are secreted to the renal tubules from the peritubular capillaries that is during urine formation the cells of renal tubule secrete hydrogen and potassium ions and urea into the filtrate this helps in maintaining ionic balance or the ph value of the body fluids i hope it is clear for you the third process involved in urine formation is absorption of water absorption of excess water from the glomerular filtrate takes place in the collecting duct and the remaining filtrate is collected as urine i'll repeat once again absorption of excess water from the glomerular filtrate take place in the collecting duct and the remaining filtrate is collected as urine now let us see what are the components of urine about 96% of urine it is composed of water 2% it is composed of urea the remaining 2% it is composed of sodium chloride potassium chloride calcium salt phosphate uric acid and creatinine the pigment present in urine is known as urochrome it gives yellow color to the urine now let us see how much amount of urine is formed in a day the entire blood in the body passes through the kidney at least 350 times in 24 hours about 1800 liters of blood is filtered to form 170 liters of glomerular filtrate on an average about 1100 to 1200 milliliter of blood is filtered by the kidneys per minute that is about 127 ml of glomerular filtrate is formed in every minute out of this 127 milliliter of glomerular filtrate 126 milliliter is reabsorbed into the blood itself so about 1 ml of urine is formed in a minute 60 ml of urine is formed in 1 hour as a result 1 and 1/2 liters of urine is formed from 170 liters of glomerular filtrate per day remember about 127 milliliter of glomerular filtrate is formed in every minute out of this 126 milliliter of glomerular filtrate is reabsorbed into the blood itself so 1 ml of urine is formed 
in one minute. So in one hour it will be sixty milliliter. In a day it will be one and a half liters. I hope it is clear for you. Urine that is formed inside the kidney flows to the urinary bladder through ureter. It is temporarily stored in the urinary bladder. When the urinary bladder is filled with urine, it is expelled through the opening of urinary bladder known as urethra. Along with urine, washing out of disease causing germs from the urinary tract also takes place. The process of passing urine is called as mitrusion. The process of passing urine is called mitrusion. I hope everyone understood today's session. See you in the next session. Thank you.